Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the entire month of November of 2022 spiritual guidance reading. For this reading, I've been guided to start out with the Lenormand deck by Gerald Marchetti and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Sagittarius needs to hear this information most. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Sagittarius with clearly defined messages of spiritual guidance for the month of November of 2022. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, at the beginning of November, we have a Sagittarius who is feeling a tad bit burdened here. Um, I'm going to cross that card with the next card, which is the child card. So we have a Sagittarius that may be feeling a little bit burdened in the area of a child or children, um, maybe in the area of your past, your childhood, or in the midst of a very playful connection. <clears throat> I am feeling there are uh, some here, some Sagittariuses that... Uh, yeah, I'm feeling the child energy very strongly here. And in the thoughts position, we have this mask. So we have hopes, high hopes for a situation involving a child or family here. And we have spirits saying, you know, uh, you may just be in a state of confusion at this time. But in the relationship sector down here, we do have uh, clarity showing up here in relation to another or others. So there's a lot of cloudiness here, maybe in the first half of November for Sagittarius, uh, whichever Sagittarius is energies. Uh, these are four. In the foundation, should this have been a Celtic spread, uh, in the creative aspects position, we have the tower. And in the Lenormand deck, the tower represents a building, an organization, a more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation. Some may be thinking about business. And am I feeling burdened? Uh, what is the clarity I need here? Um, and there's a lot of energy here of playfulness. So when you are conflicted or are feeling burdened, turn your energy back into and towards the positive. That's been a big message uh, for the collective here. Now, in the actions position, we have this ring. So we do have a spirit nudging a particular Sagittarius here to think about uh, and or to... Uh, trust that there will be clarity coming regarding a commitment partnership or contract when it comes to again a building an organization a more financially abundant secure and stable situation some may be signing on the dotted line here when it comes to a bigger better home environment or again a business partnership so in the emotional aspects position, we have the mother bear energy. I'm feeling this in two ways. Uh, some Sagittariuses are connecting with someone who's in a leadership position, who's of a bigger build, if this is you or someone else. Uh, this is fear nudging you with the polar bear energy, Sag, to open your heart uh, to trust uh, the process here, okay? Spirit's really been trying to guide the collective out of confusion, sadness, and despair into the direction of, <clears throat> pardon me, a new chapter of family and friends and partnerships where uh, the cloudiness can fade away, where we can start to experience a very playful energy. So in the subconscious position, we have the fox here. Uh, some Sagittarius may be thinking about sneaking away from a particular commitment partnership or contract or may just be a bit conflicted about whether or not they can trust someone here in November of 2022 Sag. So this passionate masculine in the day-to-day -day aspects position could be you, could be someone that you are thinking about. Um, this is a spirit advising you to connect with someone who's very passionate about what they do and uh, find the clarity that you need. If this has to do with business, uh, find the clarity you need in relation to this masculine here and trust that, you know, you can be freed from this burden uh, of a commitment partnership or contract. Maybe you're just trying to figure out if you should stay or go here. So definitely connect with someone who's in a leadership position um, and don't feel like you need to sneak away from a situation, but that you can free yourself by just having a conversation and getting the clarity that you need. Now, there are some here who are really not trusting someone in relation to a child or children. 
children and there is conflict here uh, in the relationship sector. Not so much conflict, but like I need to figure out what's going on. So in the inner strengths position, we do have the soulmate energy. So a soulmate can be a family or friend. I feel like however this soulmate energy represents to you, a business partner, uh, supervisor, manager, or your soul's purpose, it's in the inner strengths position. So spirits giving the collective Sagittarius's uh, the strength to move forward more playfully, uh, to trust that things are going to grow and develop here with the tower energy. And there will be commitments, partnerships, or contracts. Like we have a Sag who's thinking, do I want to sneak away from my current circumstances or do I, or is this my soulmate? Uh, should I come into deeper commitment, partnership, or contract? And so there's a little bit of question about that. Again, there could be a soulmate, which would be a child or children situation um, that is feeling a little bit burdensome because of a marriage commitment partnership, where that's what's causing some confusion here is a soulmate connection and a child in the middle and some form of burden. Okay, so I'm going to confirm and clarify once again with the Lenormand deck by Jiro Marchetti. And first we have the whip, we have the magnifying glass, and the dice. So at the beginning of November, we have a Sagittarius who's being guided, again, to sweep away from trying to figure out uh, which direction Spirit's trying to guide you, okay? When this beautiful, magical golden compass shows up, this is Spirit's way of saying, watch for the signs and synchronicities if you are conflicted or confused, for we are guiding you in a very divinely timed way when it comes to making your wishes come true. So what are you wishing for that is a positive thing? Uh, we do have some form of aha moment in relation to maybe someone who has Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart, or this is money. Uh, I'm thinking about money and I'm thinking about different projects, ideas, directions, and now I'm having this aha moment that uh, I can indeed move forward successfully. Okay, so we have a little bit of confusion here about bringing something to an end. Again, should I stay? Should I go? However that applies, whether it's professionally or personally, the moon represents hope and or again, someone who may have Pisces in their chart. Yep. Here are, here are energies of anxiety with the mice. Okay, so Spirit's saying you may be a little bit conflicted about whether or not you can trust someone here, whether or not you can give kind words and messages to someone, whether or not there is going to be complete devotion. Some are wanting to cut away from a passionate situation. I just saw a passionate masculine and a passionate feminine and wanting to go into the direction of making some form of decision here. Yes, so Spirit's saying now is the time in November to research this next chapter of your life. And Spirit with the Lily energies is going to bring you some form of wisdom and knowledge. So you can be freed from this energy of indecision and confusion so that you can acknowledge that whatever you were hoping for is starting to come manifest around maybe the 16th of December. It's December. I meant November, so some you may have to wait. It all comes down to communication with a specific person. Meeting up and communicating and remaining grounded as you contemplate the future. Hop, skipping, and jumping into the direction of communicating with a bunch of people here is going to bring you into the spotlight. Uh, it's going to bring you a, a great awareness of the self here, and you're going to recognize who your soul partner is, uh, which direction Spirit's trying to guide you at this time. So Spirit's saying, roll the dice, take a risk, have a conversation here, or make that offer in the area of marriage commitment partnership. Yes. We do have a feminine here, be it you or someone else, who's thinking about traveling into a new direction. Uh, we have someone who's holding back a little bit because of that confusion. But Spirit's saying, worry not, Sagittarius, for you will slow the process of beautiful things happening in the area of home and family. The anchor represents great stability and security. So there is some form of soul connection, soul direction, soul's purpose that you're being guided to come into partnership with. Whether it's with a person or uh, a change or a new um, contract, spirits guiding you out of a state of confusion into the energy whereby you can kind of sweep away from that. Clarity is on its way. Some of you, again, may be receiving some form of clarity and truth about worries of trusting someone between the 6th and the 14th. 
but burdens are falling away. Burdens of confusion are falling away, especially if you are this person connecting with someone in a leadership position. Um, there are greater opportunities uh, ahead of you. So let's talk about that. I'm going to bring in the Game of Thrones tarot deck. I like to confirm and clarify with the tarot deck because it helps me to pinpoint certain astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is helping for me to um, translate about. Sagittarius, please. Spiritual advice. November of 2022. All right, so we have playful communication, maybe in connection again to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, wanting to go playfully, right, with this childlike energy into the direction of maybe a mama bear energy and or into the direction of someone who's in a leadership position. Um, so there is a big message about going playfully into the direction of others while you obtain little bits of information. Now, some of you in November may be thinking about someone who has... Uh, Leo in their chart with the strength card as a major arcana, but spirit is giving you the strength here uh, to just maintain, right? To remain playful, even though you're a bit conflicted about a situation. If you're worried about the strength of another, they also will feel much stronger over time. So yeah, look at that. In the relationship sector, we have the Six of Swords energy, so we do have clarity showing up um, in the area of a child or children, uh, playful energy, and the strength to come out of confusion uh, because of some form of wisdom or knowledge that's coming to mind in connection to another. And then there's this uh, desire to go away from troubled waters, the burdens that you were carrying. So creatively, a spirit saying um, it's it, it's important, like we talked about, to focus on one project, idea, goal, intention, or another. Uh, by around the third week from now, we have a Sagittarius here who is pretty darn passionate and excited about one opportunity or another when it comes to money or things of the material. Again, business or home, what are you creating? Uh, what, what are you wanting to... Uh, create now look at that in the next chapter of your life so you may be in connection with someone who has a taurus in their life with the major arcana the hierophant and or there is marriage commitment partnership connecting with others getting around like the 14th here for some thinking about marriage commitment or partnership yourself for some sages now we have a very common card here the eight of spears or wands energy so very quickly and swiftly uh, will come this realization uh, that it's time to uh, bring something to a higher level okay a deeper level of commitment maybe a higher position of pay or even just contemplating uh, moving into the direction of a newer better home here Wonderful. So we have the Fool as the Major Arcana. Should I hop, skip, and jump and take a risk? Now, again, we have some who are wanting to leave troubled waters behind and start something new in the area of relationships, commitments, partnerships, contracts. Um, remain playful. Someone here wants to maybe leave someone or something behind, a person, a connection here. And I'm feeling more when it comes to business. So, you know, if an opportunity shows up here, if you trust that spirit is listening to your prayers, uh, there will be eventually the manifestation of a new path. Uh, but don't go away from your current circumstances with the fox energy. Um, you know, go away with your he head held high and um, a playful excitement of moving on now. It's time to move on. Okay, so in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have maybe a Sagittarius who's thinking about someone who has Capricorn in their chart. Or we have a passionate masculine who is thinking about some form of temptation. Okay, he's looking over at the soulmate connection. Oh my. So we do have Scorpio energies of the major arcana, the death card in the inner strengths position. Yeah, we have someone here who's thinking about bringing an ending to a soul connection because they are thinking about taking a risk when it comes to some form of temptation. But there is confusion here and an inability to uh, free yourself 
from the burdens of whatever is making you feel clouded, right? So uh, what is it you want to leave behind? Was it What is it you want to manifest now? Because you can create great things uh, here in the area of a business or organization. Indecision. Lots of things going on, maybe with someone who has uh, the, their birthday on the day of the 19th. And that's what switches this person's attention is, okay, I'm bringing something to an end that I was going to take a risk about because someone nearby um, is creating a new chapter and are receiving some beautiful, uh, playful, exciting offer. It's like someone was going to walk away and then they recognized the temptation and uh, taking a risk to be sneaky with that fox energy is only going to bring an awareness that you should have stayed where you were. Okay, so in a three card summary, we have the nine of coins, the nine of cups and the five of swords. So I'm thinking relationship wise should have stayed where you were because we start out here with great financial abundance and a happily ever after okay great money and abundance is coming so that you can uh, start a new path of overflowing peace joy and happiness you may find Sagittarius that you're wanting to share exciting communication with someone tied to your past with the six of cups or you're connecting with new people and there is a celebration uh, taking place uh, because of a very good financial offer that is unexpected. So yeah, someone is thinking maybe about someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Hermit energy who is looking at how far they've come, how hard they've worked, and now are recognizing that their ship has come in or someone someone's ship has come in. We've got this Empress energy of motherly type energy, be it you or someone else feeling stuck or trapped when it comes to a very um, <clears throat> intuitive spiritual feminine who is going to be giving birth to some form of celebration in his or her life. Uh, so yeah, all of a sudden Sag goes from, uh, I was doing well with the nine of pentacles to now I'm starting to worry about money, right? I'm, I'm having, I'm celebrating change, but I'm worried about what's ahead. You know, is there an offer? Again, I'm feeling Pisces energy, but, uh, is there an offer of money? Yet one path is ending and now there could be a brand new beginning, uh, with the ace of coins this is a gift from the universe so there could be a win an inheritance a lump sum of money um, whereby you or someone around you is starting to receive a lot of attention and recognition and all of a sudden uh, the one who was being tempted starts to open their heart with the king of cups energy yes for others we have some form of empress receiving attention from water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or there's indecision about when something will take place. We have wishes coming true. If you're connecting with someone who has cancer in their chart, we also have wishes coming true when it comes to traveling towards a direction of success. Okay. We do have uh, air energy with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I feel like this is spirit telling you at this time, if you are being tempted in November, male or female, it's time to maintain your boundaries and focus on a ne the next most positive journey in your life. We have another ace, so it's, time, it's a time for new beginnings in the area of money. It's a time for new beginnings in the area of love. Uh, there could be renewed love. And again, in some cases, this could involve water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So now we have the King and Queen of Cups opening one's heart truly emotionally and spiritually to one another. If you've been questioning a relationship, is going to make you shine like the sun. Maybe for some of you, uh, you are uh, thinking about this Queen of Cups energies again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is stepping into the spotlight in some way. Yeah, here comes a bunch of money an abundance, a light at the end of the tunnel, and then a Sagittarius who's contemplating, should I stay or should I uh, walk away? So we do have you in your element here with the Major Arcana, the Temperance Angel, conflicted about what action steps to take because someone's wish is coming true. Some form of offer of money is coming true. 
And then there's this waiting process, right? Spirit's helping you with the hanged man energy to uh, bring something to a deeper level of commitment to celebrate something in the area of home and family. Another ace trying to get to the truth of the situation because of some form of temptation. There is someone who is manipulative here that's causing this Sagittarius to have the Five of Swords energies, feeling conflicted about, I think, the relationship. Should I stay? Should I walk away? I'm feeling conflicted about communication with another or others. So here we have the King of Spears or Wands energy. You in your element, male or female, able to decipher with the Two of Wands energies which passionate financial home direction you would like to manifest now. Now, some of you are looking at connecting with someone who's in a leadership position, and now you're just hoping <clears throat> Ooh, that things will turn in your favor. Okay, there's definitely some form of temptation taking place here. Someone's working really hard and eventually are freed because a doorway opens up for them. Um, and then they're just kind of waiting this person you're connecting with throughout and towards the end of the month uh, for the offer and the information to come. So there's researching a new chapter in your life or someone else's. And there's a realization in hindsight by the end of November with the Nine of Spears or Wands energies uh, that what you've really put a lot of your passionate time and effort into um, is paying off. So it's like someone was just about ready to walk away and um, or is contemplating a temptation here. But yeah, things go full circle. Wishes come true. Uh, new path uh, opens up. I see two different people. So it's important that you um, not get lost in your heart too much. Be playful and open. But if you are conflicted about uh, who or what, you should go into the direction of uh, give this month some time. Things are going to come full circle. And then I see money and a new chapter and a soulmate connection and signing on the dotted line and opening your heart back up to this playful energy because you're being freed from this desire maybe to sneak away from a situation, to go into the direction of temptation. And Spirit's giving you the strength to bring an end to that, to instead go through a process of transformation and trust in the direction whereby Spirit's trying to guide you in the month of November. So if you want more information specific to your journey, uh, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading. And my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comments section. I am now offering the fall special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try because that is a one month reading as well. So we had a card jump uh, closing message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. What did I say about number 19? If you're connecting with someone uh, who has a birthday around the 19th or this is you things are going to start to speed up in their life. Playful energy is going to return. Uh, beautiful opportunities in the area of a business organization is opening up for you or someone and so is your your heart. So, of course, you or they may both be tempted because of some form of good news. See, some form of positive recognition is taking place. Uh, for some, you may know what this means around uh, the last couple weeks of November here. The card says, congratulations ahead of time, right? Uh, your plans have worked out perfectly. So you're going to find that it is now your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you. And success is all but assured. So express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those around you at this time are indeed trustworthy, right? Because there's fear of that. Look at how he's looking at this new beginning. Like, uh, should I or should I not take a risk? And spirit saying, be open to unexpected opportunities. It's time to free yourself from anything that brings clutter into your mind, into your life. Yes. We get the healer of thought and then spirit just nudging the Sagittarius to continue to remain uh, organized and disciplined. Whatever's been troubling you, you will find at the end of November... 
uh, is coming to an end and you can finally breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at uh, this juncture. If you're worried about someone with the devil energies of addiction, uh, someone in your life will finally be free of their addictions or codependency. Or maybe this is you. Because of some wonderful and positive recognition, things are going full circle. And now it's time to acknowledge the journey before you, which looks successful indeed. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you uh, or you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email. Like I said, josiek42 at gmail.com. I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've attended the live Zoom cast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you for those donations as well. It is only during the live Zoom cast on, or I'm sorry, podcast on Thursdays at noon U.S. Central Time, where I am offering one month readings for a minimum of a ten dollar donation. So I hope to see you there. Take care and God bless. <laughs>